What's going on guys? Hope everyone had a good Christmas and is enjoying the holidays. Uh, got a couple parts and uh, let's check it out. So we got the Power Mad gauntlets. Uh, these are the X2s. Just for the winter riding, you know, kind of cut the wind out a little bit. We got the ODI lock-on extremes just because my factory glue's kind of shitty and the hand grip's starting to twist. We got inch and a half wheel spacers all the way around. Just to give it that extra poke. We got the KFI Tiger Tail. Um, a couple boys I ride with have them and just makes tone guys out way easier. So had to get that. We got the Super ATV Hitch Receiver. It's a little beefier than uh, I guess the more common one guys go with. Uh, I want that beefier setup, especially if you're pulling out some machines that are pretty stuck. And we got the. Uh, Tiger tail mounting system. We've got the far mudding footwells. Been wanting these for a while just because it gives it that cleaner look. Also gives you more clearance. We've got that red in there to match. Be a nice little touch. Take the foot peg off. Just 10 mil. So I drilled out the rivet. It's all free there and I'll do the box. So it looks like the holes on here don't quite line up with the plastics because the plastics kind of sag a little bit. But to be honest, I think if you actually force the plastic, like the fenders up a little bit to match the holes, it's almost like it kind of fixes the plastic in place. Like right here, make sure you guys can see that. Yeah, you got this little gap here. So by the time you force this up to kind of match the holes with there. I'm just gonna force it into place because it actually tightens up everything anyway. Like you don't have as much as a gap under the seat anymore. So I think that looks better. So we'll that. Those four corners. So we'll mount those and then we'll do the foot peg. Okay, just like that. Now we'll mount the peg.
Okay, so I just cut 15 mils off this side. So by the time I line that hole up, put a washer in there. You got just enough room, so I think that's perfect. So yeah, if you guys wanna use factory foot pegs, it's kinda what you gotta do. We got the foot peg installed. Like I said, I had to use a washer just cause you got that big opening there, but that works for me. Everything's solid on there. Just washer for the other side. So the left side's done. I'm just gonna fill all these holes, well, these two holes with kind of factory bolts. Fuck, that looks clean. Okay, hey, left side's done. I'll do the right side now. But this is the whole reason why I bought these little dollies. How cool is that? So yeah, I'll do the right side now. Probably not gonna video it just cause you guys just saw the left side, but I'll definitely take an after video. With the right side, there's a little more trimming you gotta do just cause you got the foot brake pedal in the way. So I had to cut quite a bit more off. Still did the 15 mils on the end, but as you can see right here, I had to take quite a bit of meat off, which is whatever. I'd still rather do this than use those other ones that come with it. So same thing. I'll put a washer on there. Factory bolt in there. There's no way it's gonna slip out of there anyway because you're locked in here, so. As long as you go tight, it should be good enough. Okay, there we go. Far mudding foot walls installed. A little more room there. Makes the fenders look so much better. See that tire poke? Oh yeah. There she is, boys. Got the front ones installed. Now, as you can see, there's a pretty big difference from the front and the back. This one looks sick. We got the inch and a half wheel spacers installed. Now we're gonna install the tiger tail. little dinky one. There we go, boys. Tiger tails installed. So sick. Got the ODI lock on grips on. I think we'll send those little end pieces for powder later, but they look pretty good. Got the Power Mad gauntlets on. We're going out for a ride tomorrow, so we'll test them out. And there it is, boys. The Christmas build. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.